We've got a loaded episode today. So thanks for tuning in, covering everything from end of summer deals. Uh, Labor Day is right around the corner. So there's some pre-Labor Day deals out there that we're going to talk through from Cabela's and Bass Pro. Uh, Otter Outdoors, they have a a new product that they launched since our last episode. And we're going to talk about the new jig heads from VMC. AFCO has a new sun protection shirt that actually looks pretty sweet. Yeti. For those of you that are Yeti fans, I'm a big Yeti fan. Uh, They have a new cast iron skillet we're going to talk about today and then much more. So stay with us. Drop your comments as we go through. I'll try to keep an eye on it. Uh, But yes, get ready for all the latest fishing gear in technology that we're going to talk about. Thanks for joining. Let's go ahead and jump in. We always try to keep these podcast episodes to a tight 30 to 60 minute time frame. uh, So I really appreciate you all being here. All of the links to everything that we talk about will be down below after the video is posted later tonight when I uh, can get all of those added in, both on Facebook and on YouTube. So thank you all for watching and joining in. Let's go ahead and jump jump in here. Let's get the screen going. And boom. Awesome. Skipping ahead. All right, so first thing that I want to walk through is... A uh, couple of deals that are happening right now with Garmin. So these are at Bass Pro Shops. Cabela's has the same pricing. Uh, but these are the deals that you typically see around fall uh, when they have the clearance products going out in the new models coming in from Garmin. Uh, there's a lot of my viewers that I know that are live scope users that use the Garmin stuff. Um, this is one of the most popular screens out there right now. It's the Garmin Ecomap Ultra 106. It has a better screen resolution. It's a 10-inch screen. This is the one that a lot of guys go to uh, when they upgrade from like the 93. Uh, This does have that older transducer, the GT54, so it's not the brand new GT56. Uh, But this is a great screen. If you're interested in getting one of these, um, I think this was the same price, maybe only $100 more than what it was on Black Friday last year. That's how good of a deal this is. I mean, of course, around the holidays, these things fly off of the shelves. This deal has been going for about a week now. um, And so they're still sticking around and it looks like they still have a few left. So check it out. I'll have the links to these down below again at the end of the episode if you want to check it out. But this is the 10 inch screen. Uh, from Garmin. They also have the 12 inch screen from Garmin at $15.99. So if I kind of go back here, this is half off. This is normally a $2,000 screen, and this is not an exaggeration. They are normally $2,000. It's maybe three times a year they drop it down uh, where they have it with the 54 transducer down to the $1,000 price point. I'm not sure why they do it. You would think, uh, you know, maybe it's because they're trying to get out of inventory, but they've been doing this for a couple of years now. So it makes me think it's just a marketing play, but a um, thousand bucks for that guy, $1,599, $1,600 if you want a 12 inch screen. A 12 inch screen is massive. If you're an ice fisherman, I would not recommend going with the 12 inch screen. But uh, if you're open water, you know, you want it on your boat, this is a great solution for you there. Neither of these screens have HDMI out on the back. The back of it, what you're going to see here is your Ethernet for your live scope. You've got your power. You've got your NMEA 2000. So this is networking of the different Garmin devices you can do. And then your live scope transducer and a 12 pin transducer cable. Um, So these are um, very good screens, but they don't have video out on them. All right. The third thing that is happening right now on a pre-Labor Day deal, there's a few of them out there, but I'm just trying to call out just because of the tight time frame that we have, trying to keep these concise and, and meaty for all of you, is this is a very popular reel that I know a lot of guys use. It's the Fluger President XT. Uh, this right now is up to 30% off. So if you choose your gear ratio, and then you can choose, they have the 20 size and 521, it's 69.96, 30 bucks off. Let's see if we go back uh, to the 6.2 to 1. They've got the 30, 35, and the 40 size. So if we set a 30 size in this, it's this one, the 30 size is not on sale. 35 is not on sale. The 40 is on sale, 20 bucks off. So best deal right now is to get the 5 to 1 uh, size 20 which is 30 bucks off of 100, so 30% off. It's a pretty good deal. If you're looking at these, if you like these and you and you have them, I don't really fish with them very much, um, but if you're one of the guys that does, this might be a good time to stock up. Um, I don't usually watch these. I don't know around the holidays what they go down to, but 30% off is 30% off. Uh, it's typically a really good deal. All right, next up. Uh, 
Hey, everybody in the chat, uh, Richard Grimes, uh, Eddie, Abs, Quentin, Terry Johnson. Nice to see all you guys here. Uh, so this is the new product from Otter. This is the only, I think this is the only ice fishing product I'm going to talk about today. Um, you guys know I'm a diehard for ice fishing. Um, I was actually really excited to see this product come out. So Otter launched the Easy Frame Release Levers. What's great about these is you don't need to buy a new shack. Let me first talk about what it is. So it's a little clip. Really hard to see in these photos. They should have a black background or make sure that they didn't have reflection on this when they took that picture. But this is a good this is a good view. Let me blow it up here. So you can see it's got a little thumb. Uh, I don't know if that's plastic or rubber. And then it's got a knobby thing on the bottom here. And then you've got the metal clip that bends over and clips in. So how this works is, which I can show you right here, if you have an otter shack that has the extending poles, you're used to having to push the little buttons in to make it extend up and down. And when you've got weight in it, it's freezing cold out. Sometimes those things get stuck. These are a lifesaver. Clam has had these. Um, and actually Eskimo has a little bit different design, but Clam has had something very similar to these for a couple of years now. Eskimo, I think for a couple of years, for sure, at least one year, something similar. Otter was the last one you had to push those little buttons in. Now you don't need to. What's great about these is you don't need to buy a new shack. Just slip this in behind the pole, uh, the plastic pole bracket, and then line it up with the, the, uh, the little knobby thing that you normally have to push in and you can push it in. I have an Otter Lodge X-Over, uh, the Pro X-Over that I'm gonna get these for. And I cannot wait because that is like one of the biggest pain points that I have uh, with the Otter Shacks is that you can't actually um, get them down sometimes if that little button thing is stuck and it gets frozen. This gives you a lot more leverage so you're gonna be able to do it. I know I overkilled it for such a simple product. It's 20 bucks um, and it comes in a pack of eight. Okay, so this is 20 bucks for your whole shack. This isn't $20 for one or for two, which typically you see a lot of manufacturers do. It's 20 bucks, pack of eight. Uh, super simple thing. If you have an Otter Shack back to 2008, they claim that it will work with it. So um, check these out. I'll have them linked down below as well. I think this is the, I think, I'm not sure I'm gonna confirm later this week. I believe this is the last of the new releases from Otter before the ice season. You can go on their website to new products and they outline all of the other things that they already talked about and announced. I've done, I think it was a few weeks ago, we did one talking through the rest of the stuff here. So check that out. And next is the VMC Swingin' Ned Rig Jig. Uh, so I think they call it the NRJ previously, the Ned Rig Jig, and now it's the Swingin' NRJ. Uh, this is this is actually really cool. So if you guys are familiar to uh, using Ned heads in, in uh, Ned jigs, essentially you've got your heavy heavy head on it, right? And then you've got your hook. What's unique about this that I'm actually really excited about is it it's hooked up to an actual hook on here that swings, right? So it swings back and forth. You can see here it's straight, and then it's free swinging. So if you bend the head, it's going to swing too. This I think is absolutely awesome because like if you look down here, if you put a plastic on here, if you put a worm on here, if you put anything on here, as you're popping it, as you're pulling it through the water column, just imagine that tail fluttering. The action is gonna be so much better with this than you're gonna get out of a standard net head. And I know most of the time net heads, you let them go down to the bottom, but even popping this, and even when it's on the bottom, if there's a little bit of that bottom current or you're moving it a little bit, you're gonna get so much better action. I haven't tried these yet. I'm gonna pick some up. This looks like a fantastic product. So um, really excited about it. For some reason, they're not on their website yet. I believe these were announced several weeks ago, maybe all the way even back into July, but they're not even on VMC's website yet. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, uh, but it looks like there may be um, a couple other retailers that are gonna be getting them. So I'll try to find one or two of them and have that link down below so it's easy for you guys to find. All right. Next up is the Aftco Channel Hooded Performance Shirt. So this guy, uh, at first I was like, why are they making such a big deal about it? It's a hooded, you know, UPF shirt, but it's actually pretty cool. There's some cool features on it. So what you're going to see is it looks pretty basic. You've got a zippered pocket in the front. Um, this is brand new. It just got released. The back looks pretty pretty 
average. The side of it looks pretty average. It looks comfortable, right? Here's where it gets interesting. Um, I don't know if they show it here. This guy right here, a speed vent active hood. So the idea here is that when you're out on the lake uh, in the summertime and you want to be protected from the sun rays, it's UPF, I think it's UPF 40 or 50, UPF 40 protection. Uh, it's very breathable, so you're not going to get hot in it, which I know for guys that haven't worn some of these shirts previously, it's like, why are you wearing long sleeves in the summer? They're very breathable. They actually keep you cool because they keep the UPF in the sun's rays off of you. But what's cool is this guy right here. When you go cruising across the lake on your boat, if you have any of these other hooded UPF shirts um, that just have the hood, your hood blows off. Well, this is built in a way that it has the speed vent. You can see it here in the picture where there's openings in the back of the hood. As it fills up, the wind, as you're driving down the lake in your boat, is coming into your hood, it actually blows out of the back. So it doesn't blow your hood off, which is actually really cool. The other thing, and I know there's a lot of other shirts that have this as well, is this guy right here. I'm not talking about the zippered chest pocket. That's pretty self-explanatory but these uh, thumb holes. So the thumb holes are in a w area that are, it's intended to be a little bit longer on your arms um, and be comfortable around your thumb. And it's so that way you can keep, like in the picture here, the shirt over your hands to protect your palms from getting burnt in the sun as well. So I thought that was pretty nifty. And it's not like uh, some other brands products that they would charge like $150 for the shirt. It's pretty reasonable. 65 bucks. You get a pretty good brand name Aftco. I don't have a lot of their stuff, but I might need to pick one of these up. They've got it in air force blue, and then they've got it in the steel color as well. And it looks like, uh, they've got a few of them order with two day air. It looks like they're out of stock on a lot of these. I'm not sure if there's other retailers. I'm sure there are, uh, that have them as well. Uh, but they they hopefully will be getting them back in stock. I'll try to do a little research and put some links of where they're actually in stock uh, down below if you guys are interested in it. Quentin saying, give us a, a who yeah, who yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, John Zick, I'm looking for GPS map this year so I can record. Good call. Um, I will be putting out a few videos later uh, this season, in, later into the fall here, probably September, October timeframe around some of the GPS map options that are out there. Uh, so that way you can either use uh, the video out RCA cable, um, or you can use HDMI out, or you can use Active Captain. There's a lot of options out there. I, this is probably one of the, the most common questions that I get on the Garmin screens is how do I get one that has video out uh, whether it's through the helm in the active captain app and do the app syncing or plug my phone into the screen you H hdmi use any other way and so i'm going to put a little bit of content on it around that this year so nice to see you in here stay tuned to the channel if you're not already subscribed make sure that you do because there will be a few and they will be awesome there's a new a new thing i can't i can't talk about too much yet but there is a new tool that i'm working on that will be ready to go for ice season this year that will help with uh, a lot of the, the guys that are looking to get into Garmin and upgrade and get some new stuff in Garmin. So more to come on that, um, hopefully in the next few weeks. Uh, Michael Gates, I wish Otter would make a lighter sled to pull out easier. Uh, the quality is far superior than others. Yeah, I, have you tried their sports sleds, uh, Michael? Um, they have their pro sleds, which are heavier. In fact, I'll pop it up here since we're... We're going through it right now. So they have they have both. They have their pro sleds, which are the ones that are typically, um, I think they're actually always used for their shacks, their flip over shacks. And then these are the heavier duty ones that if you're pulling behind a sled, a machine or anything like that, or hunt, use hunting, very heavy duty. Um, highly recommend these guys. But they have their sport sleds, the little bit uh, shallower on the sides. Um, and it's a lighter roto mold plastic to it. They're still super durable but they're a lot lighter. So I check those out if you haven't already. Um, good job explaining pictures didn't help. Um, yes, uh, I'm not sure if that was on the hoodie or if that was on the, what it was on. But yeah, like it seems like that's one of the hardest things. And the cool thing about YouTube is you can do these videos, you can explain stuff um, and it comes to life a lot better. So, all right, we're gonna keep on going. Uh, and check out what's next here. So Yeti 12 inch cast iron skillet kit. So 
I put this in here, not expecting anybody to actually buy it, but I was super intrigued that Yeti released this. I think we all know Yeti's coolers that they have, right, in, in their other products. They have a cast iron skillet kit, which is a 12-inch skillet. Let's see, there's a picture here. It is a 12-inch skillet. There is a metal ring rag to clean it. They have a scraper card and a cotton storage bag for $400 for a cast iron skillet. This seems absolutely crazy. I feel like I can go to Walmart and buy a cast iron skillet. Not that I usually shop Walmart that often, but just as an example, you could go to Walmart or go to Amazon and buy one of these things for 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks for sure. Um, so it is interesting that they're getting into this game, but they're supposedly super heavy duty. Um, they were working with cast iron masters over at Butterpat Industries in Maryland, uh, the ultimate in campsite skillets. Uh, so I guess they put a lot of research into this. I don't know if it's the depth of the the thickness of the metal or, or of the iron or what it is, but hey man, if you're one of those guys that likes to catch clean cook um, right on the shore, build yourself a little fire, this could be the skillet for you. It's a little rich for my taste, uh, but you know, I want to, I want to make sure that we're fair to those people that this is maybe the thing that they cook off of, you know, a couple times a week. So it looks really interesting. I'd love to have one, but I'm not going to spend $400 on it. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Uh, John says, yes, $400. That's insane. Like, I, I don't get it. All right, here is the sweepstakes. So Rapala has a sweepstakes going on. It ends on August 30th. So if you have not entered, enter. In fact, I will throw this uh, link in chat. It'll obviously be below the video as well, um, but I'll throw it in chat so that way you guys can click on it and do it there too. It takes like just a couple seconds to put your stuff in here, but it's, it's 20 of these little packages they're giving away. 20 winners will get a mini tackle box full of Rapala classics. I don't know what's, oh, it says right here. Original floating, the countdown, the Rapala keychain, jointed, and more. So they must throw maybe one or two other randoms in there as well. But they're giving 20 of these away. Doesn't cost you any money. Go ahead and jump in. Contest ends August 30th. This has been going on for several weeks now. So I bet there's a lot of entries, but I want to make sure you guys knew about it at midnight. So end of the month, uh, central time. Winners will be randomly selected on the first week of September and we'll have 48 hours to respond via email. So make sure whatever email you put in here that you're gonna be able to get a response back um, and reply to it within 48 hours. Official rules are down below. I have no affiliation with any of these companies, um, but just wanted to call it out. I thought this was pretty cool. Pretty cool opportunity. Get some, some free stuff to try for open water. All right, next up on the news docket. Uh, so what I want to try to do with these podcasts, um, as you can see, this is our fourth episode. So thank you. Like I'm going to stick to this thing. 6 PM central every Tuesday last week. Um, I was out on family vacation, so didn't do it, but my goal is every week to do these. And it's a mix of gear and tech deals, new announcements. Hopefully we're going to get some people from some brands on here to do some interviews and some, uh, collaborations, but then also news and what's happening in the industry. Here's a very perfect example of this, uh, Rapala has boosted their ownership stake in 13 Fishing. I think a lot of us, especially if you're ice fishermen, have heard of 13 Fishing. They've got a, a large assortment of things. Uh, Rapala has been an investor in 13 Fishing for quite a while, but they've been a minority investor. There was a gentleman by the names of James Cobble that had um, more, I think that he had like, yeah, it shows here he had, I think he had 51% stake previously. Um, in in the in the company in thirteen fishing now Rappel is going to have sixty percent stake according to what I've read here uh, in the company that owns thirteen fishing which is really cool so what does this mean for thirteen fishing um, the primary thing that you're going to see here and there's other articles out there right now but the idea is that uh, Rapala is like one of the largest in the industry. They're going to continue to work with 13 Fishing to expand their reach and assortment in the US. Previously, 13 Fishing managed their own assortment, their own um, inventory, sales strategies in the US. And Rapala, through their ownership share, would get them worldwide. So into all the other countries, because Rapala is a worldwide organization. 
by Rapala now being a majority investor in the company, they're now gonna partner with 13 Fishing. I can see both of them. So anywhere where 13 Fishing is, that Rapala is not there now, which is would be really weird. Rapala is gonna be there and then vice versa. You're gonna see 13 Fishing come to a lot more locations because they're the majority owner. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Um, it, it's fun to hear about like, oh, so this company owns that company. Rapala owns 13 Fishing. Um, so that we all know. And Rapala owns VMC too, so that we all know. All right, next up. Uh, I thought this was pretty interesting. Any of you guys that have purchased the Berkeley Powerbait Call Shad Swim Bait, that's a mouthful, um, they have recalled it. Um, so there is quality issues with some of these that they had sent out. So they have done a recall um, they're not asking you for to send it back. If you have purchased any of these, make sure that you check out the link berkeley-fishing.com slash callshad-replacement um, or use the link that I have down below if you're watching this on the replay. Uh, the call shad um, will be replaced for you. So it looks like the process is pretty straightforward. The company um, will replace uh, any purchased call shad at no cost with one that performs as it should. Um, they said that they've tested a few of them that have recently come out and they were not of quality. Some of them were too soft. Some of them were too hard. And so all you have to do is take a picture of your call shad on or next to a piece of paper, which is, oh, okay. Detailing your name. I was like, why, why does it need to be next to a piece of paper? But I see here detailing your name in the date that you're submitting the photo. Um, so yeah, so probably so people can't use the same photo. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So if you purchase these, uh, go ahead and get your replacement. Pretty cool. All right. Last but not least, and then if you have any questions, drop them in the chat. I'll go through and see if there's anything there uh, to wrap up our session. But first, this I thought was really cool because we talked about this product that was a winner of a category at iCast, and that is the Bubba Pro. They call it the SFS here. What the SFS stands for is Smart Fish Scale. So Major League Fishing, MLF, announced that they will be using the Bubba Pro Smart Fish Scale. This is the one that I had talked about where it's got the digital readout on the top. You can call with it. You can do a lot of really cool things. And it has a 0.3% accuracy, 0.3% um, plus or minus accuracy to, to true, which is actually really good. This is their official scale starting with the 2024 Bass Pro Tour season. Uh, so if you guys want to use the same scale as them, um, or if you're interested in what they're using from an accuracy perspective, I find it always interesting to see what do these pro organizations use uh, because it's probably a pretty good and pretty accurate product. This is what they're using. It's not cheap. If I recall, it's either two or $300 for this scale, uh, but it looks Pretty dang sweet. If you're a bass fisherman, particularly, I could see this being very helpful. I know a lot of the tournaments in ice fishing are length based, but sometimes it's nice to get that uh, that weight on it too. So that way, if you have a PB that you're trying to get, um, this could be helpful for you. So um, it says right here, we have put the scale through the ringer with over 16,000 hours of testing in real life, high stakes tournaments, the partnership represents a natural evolution for Major League Fishing. We're always striving to improve the sport of bass fishing by creating an experience that invites new anglers and leaves a legacy of stewardship. So I'll leave a link to uh, to the article as well as the, the product, the scale yourself, if you want to check it out. Um, I have not purchased one yet. I was at Cabela's just uh, a couple days ago, um, and they didn't have any yet in stock. So I'm waiting to see um, retailers that have them in stock and pick one up locally at one of my local, uh, support one of my local retailers if I can. Otherwise, I'll just buy it online somewhere. So cool. All right. I'm going to scroll back through and see if there were maybe any other questions or comments in here that I have not answered yet. John is tuning in from Nebraska. Thanks, John. Really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Richard from Central Iowa. How's it going, Richard? Thanks for hopping on today. Uh, Central Minnesota. Nice to see you. Terry says he needs a new Bay Runner shanty. Yes, that would be nice if they come out with some new ones. Uh, any more ice gear? 
Um, there, there's just the otter today that we talked about. Um, the the clip. Let me go back to it here. The easy frame release lever was the only new ice product here. Uh, there are going to be more ice products. It's still a little early in the year. I think last year uh, it was about another week or two, and then we I think we had all of them from like the big companies announced. Um, I'm going to be doing some reach out here over the next couple of weeks to a lot of the bigger brands that typically release stuff every year and see if they want to do uh, an episode and go through what they have. And then the big flagship brands, so Otter, Eskimo, uh, Clam, I will walk through their full assortment of new products. That might, might just be what you see here from Otter. I always put a video out around that starting last year. Um, so I'm going to keep up that tradition. But uh, look for a lot more stuff. It's typically... September is usually when it kicks off for new ice fishing gear. October really heats up. And by the end of October, we usually know everything that's going to be new. There sometimes are surprises from some of the smaller mom and pop shop companies uh, that pop up around show ice show season because a lot of them sometimes are just trying to get everything pulled together to actually announce at the ice show. Um, so I might reach out to some of them and see if they want to be on here just to get more word out there outside of just the ice show. So more to come. I'll be attending a lot of the ice shows this year as well uh, in doing some, some video filming there. So if there's anything cool there, you'll see videos popping up on the channel about that stuff. So great question. I'm really excited for the ice gear as well. Uh, I got to start playing around with the ice gear that I got in the garage um, and getting, getting a couple modifications and things I want to do done and ready for the ice season. So I'll have some videos coming out around that stuff too. Um, cool. All right. We got a question here from ABZ abs. Uh, have you thought of doing a ice fishing get together or a fishing tournament for your fans? Um, I've thought, I thought about it a little bit last year when I saw a couple of other, uh, creators in, in YouTube guys, uh, do it and they look like they went pretty well. Um, I might partner up with somebody this year, um, and try to get maybe a few of us. There's actually quite a few, um, of uh, ice fishing YouTubers, content creators, whatever you want to call them, uh, within the Minnesota central metro north central area, that it'd be kind of cool to do like one of the bigger lakes and get all of us there and just do a huge fun day. So we'll see. I've got to reach out to a few of them this year and see if we can make that happen. I think it would be really cool um, to get everybody out there ice fishing together and just have a good time. Um, and it's always better, of course, if you can catch fish, but uh, sometimes it's just fun to, to get together and chat um, and see what everybody else is using. So yeah, more to come on that. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull anything together. So, all right, that is a wrap for today's stream. Thank you all so much for hopping on. Uh, again, all the links will be down below. If you have any interest in clicking on any of those, um, it'll get you right to it. And I hope to see you next week, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central. We'll have another episode. Take it easy. Until next time, see you later.